Kwanza. The distribution of farm implements started from Ajuri County, where the ministry handed over eight tractors to the sub counties. <laughs> Other tractors and farm implements will be stationed at the regional mechanization centers. The handheld tractor has the capacity to plow three acres of land on three liters of fuel per day and can also be used to pump water for irrigation, mill, and drainage. It's a deliberate uh, effort by the NRM government under the leadership of President Museveni to ensure that the local people are supported. The local people should now start usage of um, a much more advanced technology and the usage of the Arnel tractors is one of those. We are even expecting that in future the districts will be supported with bigger tractors. The engineer for the Ministry of Agriculture, Alex Birungi, told UBC that the program targets small older farmers and farm groups in the land preparation. Uh, from mechanization centers, apart from accessing tractors, we have graders, motor graders, we work on farm access roads, uh, we have water bowsers, we have uh, a land opening equipment for organized and registered farmer groups. These, access, uh, these services they can access for free. The Lepton District Woman MP Dokas Achen says the tools will support the parish development model to boost farmers' production. We want to boost production to remove our people who are not yet part of the money economy to be able to make money as a result of boosting production. Uh, we are going to work hand in hand with our community members to make sure that we put into good use these machines given to us. Majority of farmers in the countryside have been using rudimentary methods. So that it should also reach people on the ground at parish level, it would be so good. Currently, there is an agricultural mechanization center at Aguata in Dokolo district serving Lango, Acholi and West Nile subregions. Edi Ulua, UBC News. Thank <laughs> you.